Charles Scott came up to Dahlonega and played a show up there in this old church. And I drove up for it and sat in the audience just dumbfounded by how good it was. Just mind-blowing. Um, and really raised the bar. For me, it was one of those nights where I went back home and just wanted to throw my guitar out of the window. Like, I'm never going to be that good. Um, but I, I'll try, you know. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to, to be that good. Stardust, well, it's a funny thing. It can make you cuss. It can make you sing. I didn't learn about Daryl Scott until I had already been playing music for a few years. I'd, I'd already released my first two records, and I was immediately struck by songs that, that I already knew uh, that had had mainstream country success, like Great Day to Be Alive, uh, the Travis Tritt hit, um, and Heartbreak Town, which the Dixie Chicks recorded. But listening to Daryl Scott's versions really touched me in, in, a, in a different way, I, I guess because you know, he wrote the songs, it, it, it was closer to the source. You know, he sang it with a different level of passion. Say nothing but a heartbreak town. Square people in a world around. And they watch you dancing without. About a year later, I actually got to go up and, and play a show with him. And uh, we, we opened up, and I, I followed him around like a puppy dog. I just wanted to ask him all these questions, you know. And, uh, he gave me some advice, though, that, that has really stuck with me. Uh, he said, he said, Corey, you don't try to write hit songs. You just do what you do. You write, you write songs. You write your songs, and occasionally, you might knock one out of the park that that will resonate with people. And I've really tried to live by those words as far as my career goes. The next album I made after that was The Good Life, um, which I think is one of my better albums. And I th I think that his influence. Uh, can be heard on songs like like the Good Life. Oh, it sure ain't the good life we're living, but I reckon we're happy enough. I quit trying to emulate, you know, some idea of what a hit song was supposed to be, and just wrote from my heart. He even signed an album for me that night, and it said, uh, you know, your songs, your way, and uh, yeah, it was really powerful. And years later, when I when I got to hang out with Daryl again. I don't even think he remembered signing the CD or any of the stuff that he told me, um, but he, he's part of the reason I'm here. He just gave me some really solid advice that uh, was a tremendous influence on me.